Okay, let's have a look at how to insert some elements into a binary search tree. So let's dive right in. So first, to add elements to our binary search tree, we need to make sure that the elements we're adding are actually comparable, meaning that we can order them in some way inside the tree. Meaning at every step, we know whether we need to place the element in the left subtree or the right subtree. And we're going to encounter essentially four cases. So when inserting an element, we want to compare the value to the value of the current node we're considering to do one of the following things. Either we're going to recurse down the left subtree because our element is smaller than the current element, or we're going to recurse down the right subtree because our element is greater than the current element. Or it might be the ca case that the current element has the same value as uh, the one we're considering. And so we need to handle uh, duplicate values if we're deciding to add duplicate values to a tree or just ignoring that. And lastly, we have the case that we've hit a null node, in which case it's time to create a new node and insert it in our tree. Let's look at some animation now. So on the left, I have a bunch of insert instructions. So we have all these values we want to insert into our binary search tree. And currently the search tree or the binary search tree is empty. So first we want to insert seven. So seven becomes the root of the tree because it's the first node. Next, we want to insert 20. So 20 is greater than seven, so we insert it to the right. Next, we want to insert five. So we always start at the root when we're inserting, and that's an important point. So you start at the root, and then you move your way down the tree to figure out where you want to insert the node. So we start at the root, and then we're like, Oh, 5 is less than 7, so we're going to insert it to the left. Now 15, start at the root, go to the right because 15 is greater than 7, then to the left because 15 is less than 20. Now 10. Now 4, so 4 is less than 7, move left, 4 is less than 5, move left, create the new node. Now we have four again. So let's see what happens here. So we start at seven, we move to the left, we move to the left. Now we've encountered a value that already exists in our tree. So as I said before, if your tree supports duplicate values, now's the time to add another node. And you would either pick by convention if you want it uh, on the left or on the right. Otherwise, you'd do nothing, and I'm going to choose to do nothing. I want to insert 33. So start at the root, go to the right because 33 is greater, go to the right again. Now insert 2. So 2 is smaller than everything in our tree, so it would go all the way to the left. Now try and see where 25 would go. So 25 is going to go to the right. Then we're going to go to the right again because it's greater than 20, but we're going to go left now because it's less than 33. And finally 6, so once left, once right, and we've inserted everything into our binary search tree. So on average, the insertion time is going to be logarithmic, but in the worst case, this behavior could degrade to linear time. Let's have a look at that. So if our instructions are the following, insert one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we start at one, then we're going to insert two, so that's going to go to the right. Okay, now let's insert three. Well, three is greater than everything, so I have to place it to the right again. Now how about four? Okay, four is also greater than everything. Oh, looks like we're creating this uh, line now. And now 6, 6 is still greater than everything. So as you can see, this type of linear behavior is really bad. And we don't want to create uh, lines like this because if we want to query where 6 is in the tree or if we want to remove 5, 
or do anything on our binary search tree, we first need to find the node. That's going to take linear time, and this this is this is bad. It's one of the reasons why people have in invented things like balanced binary search trees or self-balancing trees, which balance themselves as you insert nodes. We'll be getting to that later, but that's it for insertion. It's really simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to look at removals for binary search trees, but also if you want some source code for uh, binary search tree, I've implemented one. Just go to my GitHub repository and look under the binary search tree folder. I'm going to be reviewing the code at the end of this series, so stay tuned for that. And guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just drop a comment. I love reading them. All right, see ya.